Electrical Installations is a module of the Arcadia BIM system. To start working in this module, you need to open a file in which we have an architectural project, onto which we will be able to enter a new electrical design. The first step is to find the Electrics tab and its first part namely electrical installations. Let's start with the insertion of the distribution board. Clicking on the icon shows the distribution board insertion window. We can specify a height of 120 centimeters. Choose by what part of the element we will hold the distribution board. I am choosing the left corner. I turn off the grid and grid snaps and insert the distribution board. One click causes the first point to be marked. Now you need to indicate the rotation angle. We can help ourselves by using ortho and the distribution board is inserted. After the selection of the board, a modification window will appear. In the modification window, we have a circuit manager icon. We can click on this icon. The window for adding circuits will appear. If we add these circuits later on in the element, we can be able to choose them. We will be able to design on the basis of addressing without using specific electrical wires, only addressing to the given distribution board of the other components. We can call the first circuit sockets. The second one will be related to the lighting. We can insert individual elements but we can also choose the appropriate electrical cable from the standard library. For lighting, I will also open the program library and choose a specific cable. As we can see, the parameters have been filled in. I can introduce more elements. The next element that we can introduce into our project is the electrical socket. Automatically, I have the installation level given at 30 centimeters. We can go to the properties and see what parameters we can give to our element. We can also see how the symbol of this element looks on the view. I open the standard library of the program and select a specific socket of a specific producer. The data is now filled in. I click OK. Such sockets can now be inserted into the project. In this room, let's say we will have three. we see that the program automatically after insertion adds for us the next numbering. So we have G1, G2 and G3. We can mark such sockets and description and move so that it is legible for everyone. As for the second line of the, of the description, it is not filled in for now because I did not add an electrical circuit that I had earlier defined in the distribution board, nor did I connect the socket with electric cables. For this purpose, 
I will now select all the sockets, enter the properties box and select the circuit that was previously defined. Now you can see that it is showing us that this is the dashboard and the first circuit. Another element that should not be forgotten about is the addition of appropriate security. We can again double click the distribution board's properties. Here we have both circuits listed. From this window we can change the circuit protection. We can either set the parameters ourselves or we can also choose them from the standard library included in the program. For the next one we can use the project library which has already been entered and added to our project. Click OK. The next element are the lighting fixtures. I will enter the properties. We of course have the symbol also visible here is the power of the lighting fixture, the power of the light source, of course the appropriate dimensions, height, width and depth, protection rate and emergency operation time. We can of course assign all of these parameters, but we can as well, as in the previous case, choose a lighting fixture from the database which is also quite an extensive database. I am choosing the nearest one. As you can see, the values have filled in. I click OK and insert it into my project. I put in the first lighting fixture. I can enter the properties. I will change the installation level here to 250 centimeters. The room is definitely higher and I will also change the circumference selection of the given lighting fixture. OK. Please see that the lighting fixture has already been described as being connected to the distribution board the second circuit. Now CTRL plus C, CTRL plus V, I am inserting the second lighting fixture at the distance of let's say 350 centimeters. Now I can mark both lighting fixtures, CTRL C and 400 centimeters further, we will insert the same lighting fixture, CTRL plus V, Please note that the reference is to the first pair. So here we make everything level. I assign 800 centimeters and we have completed the lighting fixtures in the given room. We should also change the numbering of our lighting fixtures. At this point, all have the symbol L1. We can mark one lighting fixture. In the modification window, we have the possibility to renumber objects. Click it and now the symbol is from L1. Select the upper left corner and vertically down. We will go down with renumbering. Renumber. We begin from the left corner and go vertically down one by one until L6. We can insert the material list. The material list will show those elements that have already been inserted into our project. We have lighting fixtures, sockets and distribution boards. The lists are created automatically. So if we insert something into the view, for example, let it be a linker, it will appear in the material list. This is what the parameters of the connector look like. We enter the properties and choose whichever one from the database. OK. 
and insert the connector, you can insert it in several places in the project. So the basic elements have been introduced. The next set is the list of items, which can be inserted through tracking evenly with the previously inserted one. Here we see the symbols, the description, what designation is on the view of the given element, and the number of elements. Our project is very small, but we can also insert into our project several distribution boards. I will add here two more boards. I will raise both boards up slightly. The installation height is 0 cm and I'm typing 110 cm here and connect all the boards with the cable. The cord will run at a height of 250 centimeters and possibly go down to our distribution board. And we still have to run it to the last board OK. Actually, when it comes to the project, it's almost finished. We can still introduce a schematic diagram of the connections between the distribution boards. And most importantly, we can draw up a report of our project. I will disable the two distribution boards that do not have their circuits from the report. I click the RTF report. Type the name of the file you want to save. I click Save and I automatically get the report in the program, which is set by default to edit RTF files. In my case, this is Arcadia text. And here we have a circuit diagram as well as our power. 